Okay, so let's talk about seat belts. Uh, how important is your seat belt? Well, first of all, I know everybody probably watching me right now um, has one time or another got in the back seat, I don't care where it was to, uh, and you didn't put your seat belt on for whatever reason. Uh, hopefully you're not one that got in the front seat and did that, but here's what you need to know. You know what, we've made the point that are you better off having a head-on collision or rolling the car? And hopefully if your seat belt's worn properly, you chose to roll the car because the head-on collision kills more people than rolling the car does if the seat belt's worn. But here's what you need to know. When you roll a car without your seat belt on, the car is so unforgiving you never get dropped on the bottom. You always get dropped, pitched out on the high end. So wherever it goes, you get a projectile into the air. Who knows where you're coming down, into a tree, a cement pavement, a curb, another car. Uh, so you know what? Uh, between the second and the fourth rollover, almost always, you're going to be ejected. So we're gonna watch that happen, and this is not a pretty sight, um, but, um, this is why you need to be so sure that every time you enter that car, you put that seat belt on. It is a life-saving tool. I don't know why you would not put it on, uh, but this will prove that point. Okay, here goes one rollover. One, two, your body's already out. Boom. How would you like to be the innocent drivers on the other side of the uh, freeway coming in? Here it goes again. First rollover. Second is already out. See how that happens? So you know what, a seat belt, that, that person lives, stays inside the car, maybe got a couple of seat belt bruises, um, but that is why your seat belt is so important right there. So let's learn some more about what's in this little clip here. Uh, first of all, if you are a driver down on the bottom of the screen and there's a police chase going on behind you, you should be hearing sirens. And if you're not hearing sirens, A, you're sleeping while you're driving, B, you are got your music way too loud that you can't hear a thing, uh, and D, you're not looking at the red lights. Um, so obviously there's a lot happening. Uh, and remember this, at a high speed, this is why you never want to have your front end next to somebody else's back end because if you ever hit the back end of a car at a high speed, it will automatically spin that car out and that car is going to end up going into a roll. And if the seat belt is not worn, of course, as you see the results, the body's going to fly out. So the person that uh, this person's going to hit should have already been pulled over. And then uh, the people on the other side, remember, if a car loses control, you see it as soon as it happens, if you look for it. There's always some dust splatter, there's some mud splatter. If it's raining out, you see kind of an explosion of water. If it's snowing out, you see an explosion of snow like it's a rocket. Uh, so um, on the other side, if they would have saw that, as his body comes into their other lanes, uh, they should have been already breaking instead of going through what they had to go through. So here we go. Let's watch it again. Uh, there's the hit. There's the hit on the back end. There's the car rolling. Dust is already going. Body's coming out. And look at these cars just starting to scatter. This is why people need to react to what's going on all over around them. Don't just focus on the lane right in front of you. There he goes again. Boom. Uh, dramatic for all these innocent drivers out here. Look at them scatter. Are you ready if you are in the middle of all this scatter? Crazy. Put your seatbelt on.